Uh, okay. So, holy crap, we have a lot of stuff on the table now. Um, okay. So, uh, let's take you through, I guess, some of the biggest things first. Uh, okay. So this here is my gun. Uh, this is made from a, uh, a nerf weapon. I have to pan up because I just don't have enough room here. Oh, good god. There's all my... All my loot crate junk. Give me a second. There... There. Okay, so this is currently in the holster. Uh, this is an old nerf gun that I've never seen anyone turn into a steampunk pistol, which I think is a, a crime because the shape of this thing is just freaking sweet. So what I did, it's in the holster um, because anytime I go to a steampunk convention, any weapon that you have, whether it be pistol, sword, or what have you, needs to be piece tied. Uh, so that's what this is here. Um, so you just take this little loop off and then uh, it's just a double D ring. Um, oh no. I believe I've lost two of my of my uh, vacuum tubes. Okay, so I'll put that over here. Uh, there's three vacuum tubes that go across the back right here, uh, typically. So when you see it, there should be three of them. I think one of them fell out. That is glued in. So there's that. And then there's a third one right here. Okay. So then there's uh, the whole thing I wrapped in leather. So this is all leather. Got springs along here. I painted the body of the thing. Uh, this is a plumb bob in the end, which I thought was pretty fun. But it's a blaster. It's still cocks, which I thought was pretty interesting and fires. This little guy opens up when it's when it's all the way back. Give me a second to make sure it's discharged. Now it's jammed! No! Come on, buddy. There you go. So that opens up. You can see in there. I never did anything with that, but I wanted to. Uh, but either way. So there's that. Uh, I put some scrape marks on the leather, but you can only really see that in person, and uh, wanted to do some more stuff with it, but there's there's the front end of the thing. You can see the seams and stuff where I had to take it apart, but... I thought this one was pretty fun. This is like my first foray into weapon making, so that was kind of fun. Um, so, yeah. Live long and prosper. Thank you. My uh, pleasure, sir. Not... God damn it, Beaksworth, not you. So, yeah, but you have your trigger right there and everything else, so it feels nice and hef hefty in the hand. It's heavy and so forth, but that's fun to carry around at cons. There's it on this on this thing here, so you can see the letter. Okay, next up, let's take this vacuum tube away. Uh, okay, so then Poop Shoot went as steampunk uh, Star Trek, so I made her a, a Star Trek phaser. So this is supposed to be reminiscent of the old television series. Uh, so this is all just shit that I found and put together uh, that I thought was pretty cool. I love using vacuum tubes. I don't know if you can tell that, radio vacuum tubes. Uh, this tip here is a light, so you can screw it in and it'll turn on, which is just kind of fun. And then uh, this is an old radio tuner right here, which I liked. So it's this little thing, this little dial that goes and it threads into itself. It's just a, it's an interesting looking thing when it operates, which is just fun. So there you go. Uh, so there's that. So you got the steampunk phaser. Caraman 13, welcome to the Empire. Thank you for that follow. I look forward to seeing you in future streams, my friends. So, uh, but yeah, that's this phaser here. Actually, this assembly on the end here, up to the light, is uh, from an old soldering iron I had. So that's fun. Do 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 do. Uh, okay, so then we have our steampunk tricorder. What's a steampunk person if they don't have a tricorder? This top bit flips up to our little uh, screen where we can monitor what's going on. This is an actual C chart from the 1900s that I put in there. So that closes like that. Um, these doors kind of collide. So these doors open here. Top one goes down. You have your uh, your little knobs that you can twist and take readings on. And uh, I had to build this thing from scratch. It was hard. <laughs> and then the bottom folds down and located within we have these little delightful, um, these are steampunk tribbles. <laughs> They're little tribbles we put top hats and goggles on. That one looks a little sad, but I got a couple of them around here, and then it's got a, a big leather strap on it so she can carry it around. Um, but she had like go-go boots and everything. Uh, do I have a picture of that on my computer? I, I might have a picture of uh, uh, Poop Shoot in all of her, uh, in all of her get up, so I'll show it to you. It's pretty cool. If I can find it. Okay, so let's go to... My computer's not displaying any of this stuff. Perhaps another day. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so there's that. I fabricated and made all that stuff. Yes, I did. 
Uh, the gun, the first gun, I just used a nerf gun as a base, uh, and then went from there. So, that's the best way to do it. If you guys are looking to get into this kind of thing, um, a nerf gun, just take it apart and remember how it goes together. Take lots of pictures if you need to. Um, hang on. Sap it. Uh, put it back together after you paint it and everything else like that. Just file little things down, add things here and there. I, I found it supremely fun. Um, let's see here. See. Sorry, I'm trying to access some. Nope, never mind. Screw it. I'm not going to take the time to do that right now. Okay, uh, next up. Lane Zero, what's going on? Good to see you, buddy. Um, so then I had this other thing that was pretty, pretty fun. I got a light bugging out. Give me a second. Why do you suck, light? Yeah. There you go. I have an LED that shoots some color onto my face because I use compact fluorescents, so they all make me look green. So I have another light that uh, adds a little bit of yellow light to help me even out a touch. <laughs> um, so then, those triples are adorable. Uh, thank you. My hat, I, I have my crafting hat on right now. So this right here is a, a functional clock. Uh, it's stuck. Oops, hang on. We'll do that. Uh, so that's a clock that is currently ticking, as you can see. And this has a band on it here that allows it to be wrapped around my top hat, and there's times where I go around uh, cons with my top hat on. I got my goggles underneath, and then my clock up top. <sighs> so if I have this guy on, the clock will go right up top. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to do it now, but it'll sit right here like this, and I'll be like a walking, uh, a walking Big Ben, if you will. I just did it for fun. I had I had an old clock movement that I didn't know what to do with, so I did that with it. <laughs> didn't sleep well. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Dinky crafting hat. It's all right. Um, actually, if you guys see me on the street in Chicago, this is what I wear. I'll wear this all day long. There we go. So this is this is this is the hat that I wear. This is my civvy hat, I guess you could call it. Um, but what's next? Okay, next up I have this right here, which is kind of an interesting story. Um, you'll see the second half to this later. I went to um, C2E2, which is uh, the Chicago Comic Book and uh, something or other expo. Uh, Chicago Comic and Exhibitors, or whatever, expo. Either way. Is clockwork? Is it clockwork? Uh, no, it's a digital one. It's a digital one, but the hands look clockwork. So, this fixes onto your hands like that. It's made for my right hand. That's why I have to do it this way. Um, and I went as a steampunk Tony Stark. So what you do is you turn this guy on, and that's my repulsor right there. There you go. Uh, so, and I burnt the edges of the leather and stuff to make it look like it had been burnt a few times for being discharged. Uh, so you can see that up close. There we go. Bat Hellraiser, welcome to the Empire. Thank you for that follow. I look forward to seeing you in future streams, my friend. So, but there's that. So it's all burnt around the edges there. And then when you, here, I'll turn it on up close too. Where's the button? There it is. Okay. So, get over here. Right here. There you go. It's there. So that was fun, being able to walk around with that. That was, that was good, good fun. Uh, this actually looks really cool too, but you can't see it from my light. So give me a second here. We'll do this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh my god. LOL Watchinator. Hail! Welcome to the Empire. Thank you for the follow. I look forward to seeing you in future streams as well, my friend. So, uh, okay. That is glorious! There we go. Lights off. Me. Ship's lights disabled. Not, not the, not that. Okay, there you go. Ah, it's like movie time. There you go. So there, there. It looks pretty cool. And then there's a sound reactive mode, which I liked. So, as I talk, it lights up. There's a slight delay on the camera, but pop! Anyway, it's kinda cool, so that was fun uh, to mess around with. But there's the uh, repulsor that I did. And then uh, on my belt... <laughs> no worries. Hey, what up, Smush? Uh, and so then uh, on my belt, what I did is I carried around these, which are little bottles um, of... It's the old school school trick where you put uh, oil and water in the same thing and you put food coloring in your water. 
so that they look interesting. Um, and then I printed out a bunch of old old labels for these things, and I carried these around in my belt. Uh, because my captain persona has a little bit of a drug problem. So, for instance, this one here is laudanum. Laudanum. Yep. And that is label that I printed out. Uh, so there's laudanum right there. Uh, okay. And then... Next up, we got this red one, which is... Cannabis. There you go. Cannabis on that one. It's all destroyed and stuff. And everything looks kind of viscous. Uh, what, what, what was this one? Nitrous ether. There you go. Nitrous ether in this one, which was always kind of fun. So there you go. <laughs> and, uh, you got here a while ago? Cool, cool. And this is heroin. Heroin! Because they used to distribute this as, like, a treatment for stuff, which is ridiculous. So, either way, but it's all just oil and water, which is fun. Um, but I put that on there as just a, a fun thing to start conversation when you're on the floor. You know what I mean? So... I guess uh, the last thing is the big one. Uh, oh, I guess, I guess actually, the there's another one over here. Uh, I have something for my chest. I'll show you uh, in a second. What Beaksworth is standing on is actually, there you go. That's a big uh, tea dispenser. I put tea up in there. It has a little spigot there, and you put a coffee cup underneath instead of a Beaksworth, and you do that. There you go. And I got my old navel light and lava lamps. I don't know if you guys, uh, if any of you have been here since the beginning of my career, my career here on Twitch, I used to have a lava lamp that was always in shot, and that was, uh, on purpose, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, okay. A proper gentleman needs to have some tea and crumpets, indeed! No, I don't screw around with steampunk at all, my friend. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna make myself nice and big, um, and then, cam... I'm gonna zoom way out. You guys might be able to see, yeah, my green screen derping up and stuff, but that's okay. Uh, I'll show you this next bit. Because this is the big one. This is my armor. Um, oh, you guys aren't gonna be able to see it from there. Ah, mmm. Mmm. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Alright. So first up, I got this right here, which is, uh, I'll, I'll do that over here, tell you what. That over here. Farrington, you're too large. Be smaller, would you? Thank you. I don't know what I just moved, but it was definitely not my webcam. There we go. Awesome. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so this is uh, my gas mask. Uh, we did a, uh, we did uh, one year, the, the theme was Journey uh, to the Surface of the Moon. And so I wanted to have a breathing apparatus that I could use up there. This front little bit is off of an old VCR. I just thought it looked so freaking cool with all these little uh, copper bits. And that's a magnet in there, so it just kind of falls in there and it won't fall out, which is pretty fantastic. This is an old Hungarian uh, gas mask that I did stitch leather up against. Uh, I completely encased the thing. It was difficult, but it was fun. Uh, it looks handmade on purpose. I didn't want it to be perfect. I wanted it to be kind of messed up. I wanted it to look like something that someone put together on the journey or... Um, that's kind of what I like to do. I like to make my stuff look like it was done by someone in a rush. Um, and so then over here, uh, where these gas vents are. Your way for the weekend. Berry tea. Oh yeah, nice. No, berry tea is good stuff. Okay. Dang it, Farrington, you gotta pay more attention. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I That's right, thing. you are. <laughs> Beaksworth knows what's up. Alright, so if I focus this up right here. You guys can see that it's actually ticking. See it in there? Right down in there? So both of them tick. You can see, uh... I guess if we get it closer to the lights, you can see the other gears and stuff ticking away in there as well. There you go. So what I'll do is I'll walk around the, the con with that on, and then anytime someone asks me if I wanted a drink, I'd ring the bell and say that it was, uh, it was booze time. Because <laughs> I'm a nerd, friends. I'm a nerd. This is what I do. <laughs> Okay, uh, so let's let's give this a shot. I want to show off my armor without putting it on. It does take a little bit of time, so let's do it this way. Turn up my microphone. It's gonna be ooh, it's hot, 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 hot. Let's make my webcam big. Kind of hear the echo in my room now too. Okay, so here we go. Lift. It's heavy. So here's the back of the armor right here. 
Uh, I've got two gas exchange uh, knobs here and then a dial, which run to these two guys, which run up and over the shoulder. Alrighty. And then in the front, I have two different things that I'll show you. This pouch right here and this uh, shoulder piece right here, this guy, uh, along with the arm, which is connected to a hydraulic pump, which then, you know, when I move my arm, that runs with it as well. Uh, this is my captain's armor that I wear whenever I'm playing uh, Captain Warren Booker, my uh, my alternate persona for being a captain of my steamship. And then if you look in the front here, this is an arc reactor. This is my Tony Stark arc reactor that I wore on my chest uh, when I was Tony Stark. There you go. And that's that has red L wire in it. There's no battery in there because I didn't want them to corrode. Um, but what I would do is there's two sets of L wire, so this lit up red and would like pulsate on the floor, which is pretty cool. So that's this right here, um, and this is the big thing uh, at the con. At uh, not at the con at uh, PAX East, you'll see me in this. I'll be in my Warren Booker armor because it's in my channel. This little pocket will have my business cards and everything else in there, which is pretty fun. Uh, so that's what I'm wearing in my avatar up above. And if you guys uh, follow me on Twitter and go to my old images, you'll see me wearing this on the floor at PAX with my top hat and stuff when I was at PAX Prime. So that'll be there for you. And I'm going to be adding to it occasionally. It's far from finished, but uh, it's it's come along pretty well, which is fun. So let me turn this down so I'm not quite as noisy. Jesus. Um, okay, so that's kind of cool. 